Good uh, afternoon, evening, and welcome to what could be my last uh, major um, <laughs> um, idea, <laughs> theory, but it's a big one, and it's probably one of the wackiest things I've ever said, even though most of the things I've said are true. And sound wacky, but you'll all find out eventually that I was right. <laughs> and this one's a biggie. This one's going to sound wacky. And I'm not going to say it straight away. Um, so you're going to have to listen. I'll skip ahead and find when I say it. But I'm so I'm going to lay this video out, <clears throat> a little bit of background about um, soulmate connection, my own, you know, personal development in um, understanding about soulmate connection, and um, and yeah, I have to give a little bit of credit to A. J. Miller, um, and I might be a little bit critical as well just to, you know, apply both sides, um, but yes, you know, I think his latest uploads um, have been quite good, better than before, um, and I was listening to a video of his yesterday where they were talking about the soulmate connection a lot. I think it's like the third newest one or the fourth newest one. I haven't watched all of the uploads yet. Anyway, and I got a new understanding of how I feel the soulmate connection, which I'll get into. So I wanted to just, first of all, give a little bit of credit to AJ. Um, you know, the fact just the fact that they're talking about stuff but he is a lot of the stuff he's saying is correct now my little bit of criticism of him is that and a little bit of warning I suppose to people is that he does get most of his information from spirits so he is kind of in this life dependent upon spirits telling him stuff and that that's all I'll say about that because this video isn't about that this video is about soulmate connection. Right, so in uh, you know autumn 2014, I first took on the uh, possibility or truth, if you like, that I have a soulmate. There is just one out there for me, and I got this feeling that it was true. I felt like something was telling me in four years, you know, it, I'll find my soulmate or whatever. That didn't happen. But in a way, it did. Because I don't need to go and find her physically, you know, I can find her within, if you like. So anyway, when I, so when I first thought about this soulmate thing, and I, the first thing I did was I wondered, oh, you know, is it her? And I did that, I said, is it her to this girl I knew at the time was being friends with? And I got a little feeling. Now, I might have been tricked by that feeling. Anyway, I, ch I then changed my soulmate about four times due to different reasons. But basically, was just guessing. And I don't think it's a bad way to do it. You can just hypothesize, maybe this is my soulmate. Go through the feelings, the thoughts... You know, and then a few weeks later, you're sort of like, no, nah, she's that's it's not her, it's definitely not her, right? So, I was doing this, and I think after about, yeah, I think it was in early spring 2015 that I, I can't remember exactly if it was then, but at some point, I thought, all right, is it this girl? And this is the the one that I've stuck with and come back to. But I thought, is it her for a while? And I think that was last about three months. 
and then I went off onto a couple of others, but then went back to her. <coughs> now this was for all different reasons, but I was just discovering, okay? So, last few months, I've been... So the, so the, the, the latest one that I've stuck with, if you like, I've... It's been a good few years that I thought it's her and haven't changed my mind about anything else. But in the last few months, I had been beginning to wonder. And the main thing that stopped me wondering was uh, a time a good few years ago when I was meditating, thinking my soulmate was somebody else, a girl with the same name but someone that I'd been with more recently in my life. And I was doing this meditation and I was thinking about, and it was all about lust, and how I would lust after this and that and that. And, and then I was finding myself lusting after who I thought was my soulmate at the time. And I thought, that's not right. I shouldn't be able to lust after my own soulmate. So then, if you like, that was a question to God, you know, God, I shouldn't be able to lust after someone of my own soulmate. What's what's going on here? And then God, and I feel as a mother God, showed me in a little vision my actual soulmate just walking down the road. And a realisation that, shit, I've never lusted. I've never felt lust for this person. And it was, it was, and then, and then, it, and then a realisation, you know, God sending me a message through feeling, that's your soulmate. And that's why I'd stuck with her so much. Also, whenever I'm doing meditation and I'm thinking about the soulmate, She's the one that just brings me into deep feeling. And, uh, and I did a video, Soulmate in the Garden, you know, how, um, you know, and it's about that. It's about those deeper feelings, and that's why I stuck with it for so many years. But in the last few months, I had been sort of questioning it, and partly because there's a couple of other, well, one really, other my ex-wife, that when I thought about her, the feelings would be strong. And a couple of others, you know, and it, you know, so I was, obviously we always got to think, you know, I could be wrong, you know, you've got to ha have that allowance there somewhere, otherwise, you know, you can get stuck in something. Um, anyway, so I had been, I had been doubting it, but bringing me back the, you know, the deeper, the, the deeper feelings with my correct soulmate and everything. Anyway, where am I going with this? But it. Uh... Yeah, I've got to add in here this recent work that I've been doing with the big waves. See, this. This. This did break through something that enabled me to feel my soulmate more strongly and Mother God. But at one point, I thought, you know, what have I done here? Have I built myself a trap? Like, I'm saying women are at the bottom of a 2,128-year wave. That's like, you know, that's harsh to take. But understandable. And we're in a really weird situation where men are at their, at their peak and women are at their trough. You know, we couldn't be more more different and that just started to make sense with how everything is in the world and with my feelings so this wave thing was enabling me to feel mother god more correctly and my own soulmate because to be honest when i had been connected with my soulmate it felt like there was a lot of not good there you know it was whether it was hate directed at me or something you know there was something that i didn't quite get and since understanding that women are at the bottom of a 2,128 year wave, that was enabling me to now understand the feelings that I was getting into and make more sense of them. 
And um, so it was leading me to this. <clears throat> now, so I'll get to the point now. I'll get to the wackiest thing that I've um, probably ever said. So, I was ha so uh, you know, last few months having these slight doubts: could this be my soulmate? Could that be my soulmate? And then I'm sort of. Now it was only yesterday. So I was listening to AJ Miller, and he's saying about how the soulmate, how it's not really a relationship, because you are one. And. You know, so I was listening to this while I was doing something else and just just going in there. And then it sort of clicked. Like, when I'm feeling my soulmate, like I've said before, that she could be right next to me, right in front of me, right here. And then I understood that she could be right here, that we are one. And suddenly I sort of felt that I had her body. Like, her boobs. And and this is what made me realise before, sometimes when I've been drifting off to sleep, I feel like I'm breathing in her air. And I just had a thought a few minutes ago, maybe this is the whole transgender thing. Like, it's somebody, they're actually feeling the, the, the other half of themselves. They're connecting with that. And, right, and this is the wackiest thing, right? So I have had, I have masturbated about my soulmate before, but it's, like I've said, it's always hard to do. It's not easy. You have to kind of go with the feelings rather than the imaginations. And while I was sitting there feeling like I'm her, there was a sexual connection. And I was almost, I was practically orgasming. Like, I wasn't actually ejaculating or anything like that. But it, while I was feeling like I'm her and I've got her breasts and the bits down below and and I'm me at the same time and I'm getting a bit aroused and then it's like double arousal. And then also like the thing about um, receiving everything with love, I'm feeling with love and I'm usually the the, the white end love. And now I've got both end loves. Now I've got both ends and the other end being the spectrum, the women. And it was just, yeah, it was just, you know, wow. So, it's pretty wacky, isn't it? I mean, I could feel my breasts. <laughs> I couldn't touch them, but I could feel them there. And it was almost erotic and... It, it, and then the thought of another woman, and this is another thing I want to say. So then the thought of another woman is immaterial. Because I'm a woman then, at that moment. You know? Like, it wouldn't make me want to lust after another woman. I'm a woman, anyway. But this is the, and then I real, and this is something I realised that um, before. So before, like say a year ago, if I was connecting with my soulmate and then I thought of another woman in a lustful way, I would sort of feel guilty about that. Like, well, you know, I'm not lust, you know, I'm lusting after another woman. I'm not. And then I kind of gradually came to the understanding that my soulmate wants the best for me. You know, if for me thinking of another woman, she's not going to mind. You know, anyway, so I tried to rationalize it and everything. And, um, but then I realised that partly when I think of another woman, just thinking of a female connects me to that other half of my soulmate, other half of me. So just the thought of a female brings me into that soulmate connection. Whichever way you're thinking of it in a way. I mean, it, it might... If it's a bad, if you're thinking of women badly, you know your other half of your soulmate is going to be going. That's a bad feeling, and get bad reaction. So, mad, mad, like, and I say this might be one of the last times I come up with something wacky. Um, I kind of got to get my shit together in the physical world. Um, I'm going to be homeschooling my son. So. We're going to have to get practical. 
So these things are going to perhaps change and, you know, the truth, I'm, I, I, you know, what truth have I got left to seek? I'm not, I'm just now probably waiting to see other people come onto the path and, um, and see if I'm right about the things I've been saying about these waves. Um, sort of observing really uh, so yeah. yeah we'll see we'll see I'm sure stuff will come up it usually does so yeah I hope I've been uh, clear in communicating or at least for those who want to know I'm going to read between the lines sometimes. Okay, ciao.